Hey guys, back, and uh, apparently WWE have lost their fucking mind. Their new game, instead of 2K21, since that game got cancelled because of the failure that was 2K20, which I will say something about that game, which I don't own, but I've seen the shit it does. WWE 2K Battleground, which looks like a wrestling game with Street Fighter arcade beat-em-up physics looks like. A lot of people are comparing this to WWE All Stars that came out on the PlayStation 2, the Wii, and I'm those kind of yeah, that era console. I'll admit to this: I had WWE All Stars. I had it for the PS2. I did not. I hated that game. I truly did. Not because it was bad. It was a good game. I just couldn't get the fucking controls down. I didn't. I could never get the handle on that game because I was so used to simulator wrestling games like 2K, like WWE SmackDown vs Raw, 2K. What was the first 2K game? 2K13? 2K14? No, 2K14. So 2K19. Those were the games that I love, the WWE games. Including SmackDown vs. Raw. WWE 12, 13, those kind of shit. This looks so fucking weird. Excuse me. This looks like it is going to be fucking arcade beat em up style art. And the art, it just looks. Bleh. I don't know how to describe... It looks like it's on a mobile game kind of thing. Like, the graphics look PS2 era. And I'm not saying, like, Crash... What's Crash Bandicoot? Was Crash Bandicoot on PS2 or PS1? No, I'm saying, like, a really good PS2 game graphics. It is... It looks... It looks like... No, not PS2. It looks like the... Fucking, what are, they, what are they called? Caricatures. It looks like caricatures for God's sake. Basically what it looks like also, you know big head mode on the fucking towers or some shit? No. Was it that? What the fuck the big head mode is in 2K19? Think kind of that, but not a, a bobblehead size. Is... Why couldn't you bring back, I don't know, Raw vs. SmackDown featuring NXT or something like that? I don't. And if you're going to do like a fighting game, because this is going to be a wrestling game, it looks like it has fighting game gra style. And there is a difference if you don't know. Fighting games include Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, wrestling games and are wrestling games. Like WWE, basically. If you want to do a fighting game physics game, why not contact like Capcom or something who made Street Fighter, who no Acclaim did Mortal Kombat. That'd be a good idea. Contact Acclaim for that shit. Imagine a WWE game in the stylized of Mortal Kombat. That'd be interesting to do. Anyway, um, I really don't give a shit. Um, when it comes to this game, I'm not going to get it, because I am perfectly fine passing up on Battleground, or whatever the f yeah, Battleground, I just watched the trailer for it, it looks so fucking weird. Charlotte looks ugly as hell in this game, man. I'll stick to playing this, I'll stick to playing this game. Nice and reliable 2K19. Is it? If it's just that, okay. If that's just something else. Who would ever think this would be the last WWE 2K game? Because we are not counting 2K20. The problem with 2K20, this is just my thing. I don't know really what happened with that game. But I say the main reason it was all glitched up and broken as hell is oh, I don't know, you spent so much time on those fucking fancy ballroom cutscenes! Or not cuts these commercials. Seriously, it looks like all the money that was supposed to go into the game went to those fancy gathering, get together commercials. And the advertisement for the My Career Mode, which could have been the most awesome and fucked up. Good, kind of fucked up. Uh, my Career Mode ever! 2K19 with the Buzz storyline was fun. With the 2K20 career, 
it looked so good with the side. But another thing that it kind of that was kind of weird about Two K Twenty, it focused so much on DLC packs of skins and that kind of shit. Tell me this, honest to God, tell me this: if you get a WWE game, are you really gonna give a damn about skins on characters? It doesn't do anything for the characters. It just makes them look stupid. It makes this, the entrance look weird. I'll give credit. The Alistair Black one looked pretty good with these levitating and shit. But it doesn't do anything for the game. Except clunk it up to this shit like that, man. I've been a wrestling f fan pretty much my whole life. Wait, what? Xbox One X. No, it's not in the box. That's weird. I've had this game for a, over a fucking year at least. I'm not just now noticing it says like right here. Um, Xbox One X Enhanced. No, I just have an Xbox One. What the hell? Whatever. It locks the game in there. Um, yeah, I just feel the feeling a lot of their time and effort for the game for 2K20 went into more the advertisement to the game other than the game. But who do I know? I'm not a video game designer. I just play video games. That's all I do. Yeah. Battle... People... I already said it in the beginning. People are comparing Battlegrounds to, like, the... The new installment kind of thing of All-Stars. Um... Yeah, as I said, I didn't get into All Stars. I had the game, I just couldn't figure the damn thing out. Like, though I wasn't ready for that kind of style of game yet. I was just getting into um, video games. The f I remember at the time, the only video games I had at that point were Lego Batman, the video game, and Ben 10 Protector. I think I also might have had at the time SmackDown vs. Raw, I think. Featuring ECW, I can't remember the the I can't remember the year. Two thousand eleven, maybe, maybe because that's when WWE twelve came out, which was one of my favorite games in the WWE line for a while because it had I liked the Yoshidatsu and I liked Mason Ryan. I liked them. in fact a little history lesson with me when I actually got WWE twelve from the Xbox three sixty. Um. The first thing I really did, the first major change I did was giving Mason Ryan the World Heavyweight Championship by beating Randy Orton for the title. Yeah. There's like something in my fucking attic. I hate that little bastard. Um, yeah. Definitely gonna skip on this game. I'll just stick to 2K19. I'll f love of hell. I'll just stick to fucking... 2K18 for God's sake, because at least with 2K18 you got the free, the freaking fabulous Freebirds. That's a thing I have a problem with with this game. Why did the Freebirds and the Von Erics not make the cut for this? Why? And I'm also disappointed with 2K20. Back to that game. I'm disappointed that China finally makes a return to WWE games in her debut on a new gen console game, and it was 2K. Fucking 20! You could have just... This is what they should have done it's when they found out that 2K20 was just a bunch of bullshit. Just fix this game with new characters, man! Like, I don't know. Pro, pro, <clears throat> programming in those locker codes? Seriously. What the hell are those locker codes, man? If Legitimately, I'm not doing this as a joke or anything. I'm legitimately... Interested. If you guys are follow WWE on Facebook or any of that social media bullshit, and they have posted locker room codes for this game, if, please tell me, if they didn't, why the hell are they in there? Because isn't this like a, isn't this company the also one that does the NBA games? I think they are, yeah, the 2K shit. I don't know, man. It just, I don't know. In my opinion, if you get WWE 2K Battlegrounds this fall 2020, good for you. But uh, I'll stick, I'll stick with this game. I'll stick with a real WWE game. Oh, I'm gonna get shit for that. 
But it's true. This game has been so much better than every WWE game to come out. After it. I mean, for guys like Pete Dunne was wearing 2K19 merchandise on NXT. Via satellite. It said 2K20, which would have made more sense to promote that game. I'm just not, I'm not just seeing a pun. It says, never say never on the box. Yeah, never say never, because we thought we were going to get a new, a good WWE game after 2K19, since this game was fun as hell, and still is, with a great roster. Let me read you the back of the box for this game, just real fast. Mainly the first one. Stunning visuals. Engage in the action through jaw-dropping graphics, heart-pounding excitement, and thousands of new gameplay animations that enable you to experience WWE at a premium level. Why do we get a feeling that is not going to happen in Battlegrounds? I love that this was supposed to be like a few-minute video and it's turned into a long one, because fuck it. I don't know, man. But again, legitimately, if you know locker room codes to this game, please tell me in the comments below. And if you are interested in uh, Battlegrounds, let me know. Anyway, that's it for this video. Later, guys. And hopefully... Crap. If Battlegrounds is a success, maybe WWE can bounce back in their video game marketing. Hopefully, because I love these fucking games. Later.